Were you as annoyed as I was that Phil didn't get a nomination for the first reality show host category after you guys have won every time? Well, I, I do have, a, I, yes, I do have an opinion about it. <laughs> I think Phil is really fantastic for our I show. Too. There's no question about it. I mean, he, he has, a, he brings the spirit. He's the face of the show in many ways, and he is a terrific, uh, terrific friend and professional. Um, but the jobs that the other guys are doing is is different from from what Phil does. You know, mm -hmm. um, uh, what the other guys do is basically they're, they're kind of the guiding light of the show. You know, they kind of move people through it and they have a lot of they, they do a lot of talk. They talk themselves from from one end to the end of the show, and that that task is of course very different from what Phil does. Um, you know, it also has to do with what is reality and what's not reality. We believe that our show is true reality <laughs> because yeah. we turn people loose and we don't know what the outcome is. You know, yeah. so, so I don't know even in genre, styles of genre don't always necessarily belong together as reality television. So that's kind of what we think about it or what I think about it. And we have one of the hardest shows to produce. So every job on the show we feel is really difficult and done quite well. So. Mm -hmm. From Phil being the host to us creating the show and producing it, and uh, you know, I, he should have been nominated. I think so. He too. really should have. I really like Phil. But on the other hand, <laughs> on the other hand, I was kind of happy because <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> when these guys stood <laughs> on the stage and I don't know, and, 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 and they're, all, they're good friends of mine, you know, because yeah. I, mean, I like these guys very much. But it was unfortunate. It was a misfire <laughs> for sure. And they're all very smart guys. Yeah. They're fun guys and they're great guys. You know. Guys, what are you doing here? Guys and girls. Yeah, it's just too many of them. Um, okay, this person wants to I know. I forgot about the girls. Um, <laughs> are the non-elimination league legs predetermined before the race starts? And if not, how far in advance do the producers know one is coming up? No, the only. The non-elimination legs are predetermined um, months in advance before we even go on the road. Everything that happens on the road has been laid out before we go. The main reason is because it's a race for a million dollars. It's a competition reality program. We can't sit there and say, oh, um, we're really concerned that that team's not yeah. going to get eliminated. Let's make this a non-elimination. Like, no, everything is thought out way, way before we go on the road. And it's it's right. laid out that way. Yeah. Yeah. We, we Signed we off by CBS Legal. Yeah. You, know, you yeah. can't change those yeah. things. Yeah, I warned you that some of the questions were. No, but that's, yeah. this is, that's, <laughs> that's a great it's, question. It's a great question. A lot of people ask it because they think, oh, are these guys manipulating this stuff? No, yeah. no, this is laid out before, and, it, and we... We go with it as it rolls. Even if we don't like the outcome. <laughs> <laughs> but the outcome for us is a surprise every time, so yeah, let's keep it that way. We can't always it's good. like it. Um, this person says, is there a chance that all the past seasons will be released on DVD? Uh, Amazon.com's Burn On Demand program is a perfect fit for Amazing Race. Look into it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, it's a good question, you know. I mean, uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm not that involved with DVD sales and that kind of stuff. You know, we have an occasional meeting on the subject, but uh, uh, you know, it's it's not really in our corner to uh, to decide that. Okay. Uh, what's been the most challenging country to film in? I think in the earlier seasons, when we first started doing the show, a lot of countries were challenges. Um, luckily, Bertram had set up a network of. Um, little satellite offices in some of these countries, so we started with those. Um, but now that the show has gained a lot of popularity, countries really want us to come. We were contacted by people, please come to our country and film. So in the beginning, it was hard. People didn't understand what, why we wanted to race through the streets and you know make <laughs> bricks and you know put sidewalks in and plant trees and you know build houses with people and do all these crazy things that the locals do. And, um, it got well, a little bit easier. Well, the other aspect of that was also we had to hire people that had very little experience in something like this. I mean, we've yeah. done this, I've done this my whole life. But we had to get the staff in here. The people that were the most knowledgeable about doing the show and just really did it and are still with me were the cameramen. The cameramen and the soundmen. They're the mm -hmm. guys because they're streetwise and they run around and they know how to do it. They were actually with us, the experienced team that knew how to do this and get us out of a bind. And, you know, the, so, and then we had to really educate a huge staff of people that does how, how we do this kind of stuff. So, but you know, and, that, and I think we've gotten better and better and better and better as a result. A lot of people are very worried to do re true reality television. So you have to give uh, our producers the confidence to say, you can do this, don't worry about it, let it go. I'll take the responsibility yeah. and the liability, so to speak. So, um, so it's gotten easier. In, in a way, but That's now we're picking countries that are more complicated. 
Yeah. Such as you Russia. Know, we kept thinking as the seasons went on, oh, the show will get easier. We, we'll, we have it all down. But you still have to put in the same amount of work every mm-hmm. season. So although we know what we're doing and we have a system down, you still have to go through every step. There's still permits. There's still insurance. There's still casting. There's still, still legal. <laughs> scouting locations. Everything still happens, so it still takes months and months yeah. to put the show together. But we're passionate about it. Very. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs>